Hi, this is Amar from SSL Trust. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an SSL certificate on your application in Netlify. So let's get started. So this is the application that we're hosting on Netlify, our custom application. And as you can see, our connection to the site is secure. But the certificate is from Let's Encrypt and we are going to install our custom SSL certificate which is essential for production. So we're going to do just that. So the first thing we're going to do is generate a private key and a certificate sign-in request for a CSR. For that we're going to scroll to the bottom of the SSL Trust homepage. and navigate to CSR and key generator under tools and services. Scroll down. So basically a CSR or a certificate sign-in request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which contains all the necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So just fill in these details real quick. Type in your domain name without the www, the name of your organization, the organization unit, such as IT, type in your city or town, your state or province, select your country, and then type in your email address. Root length, we're gonna go with 2048 bit, which is the industry standard. Click on generate CSR. And this is your private key and your certificate sign request right here. Now, it is recommended that you save this in a safe location on your computer, preferably as a text file, so as to be able to do multiple configurations in case there is an error in the process. So the next step is to purchase and configure our SSL certificate. And for that, we're gonna head to SSL Trust. So I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage. And if you scroll down, you'll see that SSL Trust has established partnerships with all leading SSL certificate authorities. And if you scroll down, you'll see that we have SSL certificates for just about all of your SSL needs. Whether you want to secure a single domain name or a single website, whether you want to show higher security and authenticity and operate as a legitimate business, or you want, an, you want enterprise level security with the HTTPS padlock in supported browsers. Secure unlimited subdomains or secure multiple domain names under a single SSL certificate. If you're not sure which SSL certificate is the best for you or your business, please contact our sales team at SSL Trust and we'll be happy to help you out. Now, I'm going to go with a standard SSL certificate since this is a demo video. Let's go with the Commodore Positive SSL. Scroll down, choose your duration. Click on checkout. Fill in these details real quick. Choose your preferred method of payment. And then click on complete order. Once you do that, Head back to the SSL Trust dashboard and select your purchased SSL certificate. And then click on Start Certificate Configuration or you can provide this URL to the person doing this for you. Copy your certificate sign in request from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes, and paste it right here. Click on Verify CSR 
And if these details look just as you inputted them, then we're good to go. Server type nginx, since Netlify has provisions for nginx and Apache and Lightspeed. So just use whatever you're using and then click on next step. Fill in these details real quick. Type in your email address. Now, if you have a technical individual doing this for you, please enter their details here. Otherwise, use admin contact. So now comes an important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, you have to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is SecDigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. Now, you can do this in one of three methods, namely, the email method where you'll be sent an email on one of these five email addresses which will contain a link which when you click on should validate the ownership of your domain name and you should get your SSL certificate. The second method is the HTTP file method. Now you're going to need to create a text file with this exact name and in this file you're going to need to paste in this text right here in this file. Furthermore, you're gonna have to create these directories and branch it as shown here. Once you do that, you can click on the check file button to check whether this file is available on the internet via your server to be verified by SecDigo. The third or the method that we're gonna use is the CNAME record validation method. So basically, you are going to need to have access to your DNS settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider, depending on where you've pointed your name servers to. So I'm going to log into my DNS settings real quick. Okay, so I'm here at my DNS settings. And now I'm going to add a new record right here. Type is going to be CNAME. Copy the CNAME record value. Is it right here in the host box? Do the same for the CNAME value. Copy, paste it right here, and then click on save. Once you do that, you can click on the check DNS record button right here, and then click on search. Now, this process of DNS propagation takes a few minutes up to an hour, depending on your server speed and hosting settings. So just keep coming back here and check the propagation of your DNS record. In the meanwhile, what I'm gonna do is submit the configuration for now. And then access the validation manager. Okay, so as you can see, domain control validation is complete for me as I regularly order certificates for this domain. So this was quick for me, but you might wanna click on the drop down menu and select your method of validation and then click on submit or recheck to refresh things on Secrico's end and help you get your certificate quicker. Now, if you can't find the validation manager, you can head back to the SSL Trust dashboard Select your product or service. And then there'd be a button here called Access Validation Manager, which you can use to access the validation manager. Click on Collect or Download Certificate button to collect our certificates. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our certificates right here. And now it is time to install them on our website in Netlify. So I'm going to navigate to Netlify. So this is our site dashboard. And I'm going to navigate to domain management. And then scroll down to HTTPS. As is our TLS certificate. And then click on the set custom certificate button right here. 
Now, head back to the certificate collection window and copy this to your clipboard. Paste it right here in the main certificate box. Now, copy your private key from the very start to the very end, including all dashes from either your text file or preferably your text file, not this window. I'm doing this for demo purposes. So always remember to save your private key and your CSR. Now I'm gonna paste it right here. Head back to the certificate collection window again. Copy the intermediate certificate to your clipboard and then paste it right here. Click on install certificate. And that's it, we have installed a custom SSL certificate on your Netlify web app. So now that we have installed our certificate, let's check the installation. Navigate to https colon double slash yourdominion.com. And as you can see, our connection to the site is now secure. And this is our sample web app. And our certificate is now valid and custom, which is issued by Sectigo and not let's encrypt. So I hope you were easily able to install an SSL certificate on your application in Netlify. Now, there is a written guide available in the video description of this video, which you can refer to for more clarity. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, please put them in comments below. And for all things SSL, do consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.